guys welcome back once again today we are going to build an android application using the assistance of github code pilot before we get started please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't and also try and share the video if you can okay so let's get straight into it so as you can see i've got visual studio 2023 open yeah if you don't have it head to the official website download and install it Make sure you, you've got all set up for Android development. And then you come back to the video. Basically, we're going to create a chat GPT chatbot inside our Android application. Yeah. To get us started, yeah, since we're going to create a chat GPT chatbot here, yeah, let's head over to Google and type create chat GPT API key. Yeah. So the first result is platform.openai.com. So once we open it, this is what we get here now. So now, obviously, we can go ahead and create a um, new key. So uh, let's go ahead and create it. So here, obviously, you can have a look properly, but we're not going to look too much into that, okay? So let's go ahead and create um, the secret key. So this is what we've actually created, okay? So let's come back to the Visual Studio and then create a new project. So as you can see on the platform side, I've selected Android, yeah? So if you've got all the Android um, development stuff installed, yeah, you should get you should get this. Yeah, so let's go ahead and select um, Android application. So this is a project template for creating a .NET for Android application, okay? So here, obviously, you can select um, I mean, you can um, configure your project details like the project name, the solution, and whatnot. Okay. So once you're done with that bit here, yeah, let's go ahead and, and click on create. So as we can see here now, we've got this um, very simple Android project created for us here yeah, with the main activity.cs, and then we've got resources folder which contains the layout, values, and some other folders, which we're not gonna look too much into it. If you don't understand it, look at my, my previous videos on getting started with Android application, okay? So once we've done, once we're done with this bit here, so as you can see on the right side, I've got GitHub Copilot chat, yeah? If you don't have the GitHub Copilot here, yeah, open your Visual Studio installer and then um, click modify, and then on the component side, you can search for, um, GitHub Copilot, yeah. I've got a video on that, so I'm not gonna take you through that again, okay? So once you have all of this sorted out, yeah, and also make sure that you've got um, an Android device that you can actually um, test your project or your application, okay? So now this is what we're going to do. Uh, so as we can see here now on the on, on the ChatGPT side here, let's let's write this command: um, create Create um, a chat GPT um, chatbot in the, so to select our project here we use the hashtag and then we look for the project uh, and uh, what's the okay so it's Android app for .cs project okay so as we can see here now it's actually highlighted for us now so let's go ahead and and then um, enter command so as you can see here now um, is that um, the uh, I mean copilot things we are using dotnet Maui so let me let me let me clarify that it's um, it's not um, dotnet Maui project But uh, Android project rather. So let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see here now, so it's actually asking us to actually add some um, NuGet packages 
stuff okay so this is the new get package that's required um, system.net.http and whatnot okay so this is what we get uh, okay now let's type let's type uh, tell it provide um, full code So this is what we get. So let's go ahead and um, um, I mean, and add the lay the layout first inside. <clears throat> um, let's go to the layout and then activity underscore main. Yeah. So let's add the layout first. A preview. Okay. So this is what we've got here. So let's actually build it before we add the main activity .cs. So let's go ahead and build it. So now we've got the build succeeded. So let's open our main activity and then uh, scroll down and add our main activity. So let's go ahead and click the preview. So this is our main activity. Uh, so let's go and resolve the, the errors. So it's a JSON document. So let's see. So it's a system.test.json. And there's one more error. So it's a system.net.http.json. So as you can see here now, we've got all the errors disappear. So let's open our browser and, 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 and copy our API key. So here we're going to replace this with our API key. So this is what we've actually, don't, don't worry if you, can, if you can see the API key. I'm just going to delete it after this video. So, so by the time this video comes on, online um, the api key already be gone okay so let's have a look at what is what is next here so yeah so it's nothing really much so let's go ahead and run it if you don't have your um, android emulator set up you can watch my video on getting um on setting up an android emulator okay so let's go ahead and um and run it inside our emulator so i'm just gonna pause the video while the whole thing runs yeah, so as we can see here now, we have the app running now. So uh, let's type something to see if we if get a result. Okay, so hello, let's see. So as you can see here now, we've got no results coming up. Okay. Let's type, can you teach me how to code? Let's have a look. So I look, um, too many requests. Response um, status. Code does not indicate success. So he said, too many requests. Yeah, for some reason that's what we're actually getting. Yeah, so let's let's have a look again. Let's type hi. So we are getting this. So what 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 I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this video here for now, and I will let I will I will leave it to you to figure it out yourself. So if you if you have any success, please leave a comment there. Yeah, if you get any any if you have any error, you can you can also drop a line and, and let me know about it. Okay. So I'll leave this video here for now.
So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.